too much. I don't know how Dixie is about her ears. We're going to find out. I can't remember. Okay. We got a lot of ears, a lot of ear hair. Since I don't know this horse, I haven't clipped her in years. I would probably close her ear and start taking, just taking off the edge. And she's real quiet about that. Yeah. So then, then I would come to the outside with a walking horse. We want to leave a small diamond at the top. So I would come about a quarter of an inch off the top of her ear, and I would come down the back side of her ear. Clipper blade slightly further. I asked someone why they do that, and why did they even use jelly? But that was so the tips don't freeze in the winter. Have you heard that? Um, no, I think it just becomes a style uh -huh. because I don't think um, with the Arabs, you ever had to really worry about the tips freezing because they usually show it in Arizona or California. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that was an Arab bar where they really left the big tips. Right. And I think it helps accentuate, if you got a horse with a hooky ear, it really helps accentuate the hook in the ear. So there's a couple different ways you can do this, and you've got to be careful when you do the tips, because you can take it all off, and it's, it will grow back, of course. I would take and just put a little cut in there where I want that diamond to be, and I would come down the other side. And she don't really like it. And then I would just come up a little bit with the clipper. And try it. You really don't want it to look like a giant cotton ball on the end of the ear. You yeah. want to make a little point. I don't like a lot of fuzz on the back side. So I just get in there and just try to stay real quiet with the horse. Take a little bit of that fuzz off. And when you do this, I use 40s. And these are tents. You would get a cleaner, cleaner diamond. You're just going to make a little, little diamond. Then come, come down that ear. And I try not to, this horse she lives, wants to kind of get away from me a little bit. So I'm just slow things down. And close your mouth when you're doing this. You eat hair. important that you have sharp blades when you get down in this area and it starts pulling the horse a lot of times might not stand as quietly if my opinion if you've got one that wants to fight you with the ear clipping I think it's much better to if your horse wears a twitch to put a twitch and let that horse stand there for three or four minutes let the endorphins release and the horse will quiet down and you can have the ears done in about five minutes. Mm -hmm. And it's less traumatic for the horse. Some people think it's very mean, but it actually releases the endorphins and calms the horse. So I think calming the horse is way better than fighting with the horse. Yeah. If you spend the time, you can teach that horse to clip without a twitch. But right. it, some, it, it just takes some time. And I, I just kind of go back over and I like that edge to be very clean. And if you had a 40 blade, it would be very close and look very sharp and clean. And I do like to make sure that I wipe the ears out very, very well before class. And I do like to put a little bit of oil on the top part of the ear, not down in the ear. A little bit of oil in there to put a little shine when they put the ears forward. It looks really nice. Do you brush their teeth too, Shelly? No, I don't. <laughs> I will pick the tartar off if it's built up. <laughs> You use the regular tooth, uh, a dentist tool to yes. pick that off. Okay. <coughs> the bridle path.